Chelsea nil, Bayern Munich three. Lawrence, your thoughts? I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. I mean, there's two sides to this. First of all, we're just not as good as them. Yeah. But secondly, I don't get... Bayern are not better than Man City and Liverpool. So why are we scared of Bayern, but go to the Etihad and have more of the ball? I don't understand. Like, I know we have injury troubles and that. And, you know, I thought, thought about it before the game. I was like, do we even go four at the back? Do we go three? Whatever. I was like, we probably have to go three, even though we'll probably go very badly wrong. It did go very badly wrong, but did we have the players to play four at the back? I don't know. Because that would have a lot meant... of injuries in there yeah. at this point still. Because that would have meant we have to start Pedro. Would have that been better than starting Barkley? I don't know. But what I can say is like this, it certainly didn't work. I mean, I don't understand why he stuck to the exact same team. I know Tammy was poor when he came on, but neither did Giroud do much. I mean, he won I think you can see what edges. Giroud was trying to do at least. I get that. But unlike Spurs, Bayern didn't sit back, so we had space. So then you don't need yourself a stri striker. As much as he wins every header, it's no point if you have no one around to attack from their own, basically, in my opinion. And then why do you start Barkley and Mount around him? You need pace. You have space to get behind. Play, like, play at least one of the wingers. If you're not going to play both, at least play one of them. Like, I, I don't understand why we didn't do that. It, it just felt like we were scared. And then we also started to be idiots. Jorginho got himself suspended for moaning at the ref. Why is he doing that? It didn't matter now because we're 3-0 down. Who cares? But that was a 0-0. Then Aspie slips, unfortunate, I get it. Yeah, I and then we get another one a minute later. Everyone's just asleep. Reese James, um, Aspie, Christensen, then we all started lunging in like crazy people. Alonso managed to get himself set, sent off as well. Didn't it see it. It all like, fell apart from 1 0, didn't it? it? It really, really did. I mean, we had what, one or two chances in the first half? The Alonso one and, you know, a couple of crosses or maybe one cross that flashed across the box that we could have gotten on the end of. Or well, Mount's shot that ended up being a cross, I think. But other than that, I mean, Bayern could have been 3 4 nil up at halftime as well. Willy Caballero made a few really, really good saves. They were just a lot better than us, but I just don't think the system... Like, all they had to do is play a couple quick one-twos with the strike and the centre mid, and then the winger goes, and they're just outpacing our wide centre-back. But it was, it was really got all us beat, and they were just gone, and that was it. Do you think there was a difference in quality to Do you think it was because the, we didn't change the lineup from Saturday? I think it's both. Um, because obviously if we had Pulisic, Hudson-Odoi, or at least one of them fit, I think that might have changed the situation. I think then he might have gone forward at the back. And they are a better team than us, but like I said, if we can have the ball, more of the ball, at Man City and against Liverpool in multiple games this season, how, many, how much did we have of the ball in the end? Like, it was 35% at, at half-time. don't know how, how much it was in the end, but that is shocking. Like, they're not that much better. They're worse than Man City and Liverpool. I don't understand why we were scared of them, but not scared of Man City. But that, I'm not saying our oh, Lampard's at fault. I'm not saying individual players are at fault because they are just better than us. But then still, you have to pick out some players. Like Barkley was just shocking. Like Barkley yeah, was, was just the only one that had a terrible. Bloody awful! Yeah. Bloody awful! And to be honest, Barkovic, everyone was poor. I didn't think anyone was particularly good. I mean, Matt was through on goal twice or something. He I think Matt at least got cancelled out. I think he had a decent game. Yeah, no, I get that. But then he's through on goal, and I'm like, he can't even hit the target. I'm not defending that shot. And for one of them, he was offside anyways, I get that. But still, like, you've got to at least try to hit the target. And then Tammy late on, we're kind of hitting them with a break because they messed up from playing out from the back a few times. And then Tammy's through, carries the ball on his weaker left foot constantly, which I don't understand. Doesn't pass, doesn't shoot, just loses the ball, gets himself half injured as well. They were just all bad. Again, at that point, it was 3 0, we were a man down, and like, you know, the whole spirit is gone. But I just think there would have been more in it. And now, like, I also don't understand by Lampard, why do you change the four at the back once we're 2 0 down? Like, surely at 2 0 down, wouldn't you lose 2 0, 2 1? Doesn't make that much of a difference. There was no way in hell we were going to get that back to 2 1. At 2 0 down, just make sure you don't concede another one. Don't, like, try to attack all of a sudden. Like, if you want to attack, 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 like, change at half time. If you decide, okay. We want to try and go for it more, change it half time. And I know we conceded two goals in quick succession, maybe he would have changed it after 1 0 otherwise, if it wasn't like within two or three minutes. But still, after 2 0, there's no point changing the forward back anymore, it just opens us up. And also, why do you leave Alonso on and not ask? I get attacking, he's more of an attacking threat, I get it. But the defensive shape is just gone, like it's just gone. And it was disappointing. Like I said, I'm not saying particularly Lampard is at fault, I'm not saying any individual players are at fault, we were just not better than them, and a lot of players just had a bad night.